Hiker J here. This week we're going to be talking about a pretty sweet multifunctional pen that has a light to it as well. I'm really psyched about this one. This has become my common everyday carry EDC or even in my Jeep. I'm going to be keeping this in my Jeep because it serves some really great functions even in a rescue situation. Multiple rescue situations for that. So it is the Wubin Gecko E61 and they have multi different kinds of them but I really like this E61. They did send me this to test out. I've been using it for about three weeks now and I've come to love it as not just a pen but a feature in my Jeep that I can use uh, when I need it. So let's get into the review. First off, the Gecko comes in this really, really nice box, which normally I don't keep boxes, but I definitely kept this one because it is really great. It has this like magnet latch right here. Uh, and when you open it up, you can see that the pen was originally here. Um, I'm not really doing an unboxing, but we do need these pen tips, so we'll take those out. There's a charging cable and of course a instruction manual, but we'll set this to the side and get right into the pen. Now, as we get into this, uh, just so you know, the link to the product is down below in the description, so you can check it out there. And if you follow my channel and you know me, I love anything that serves multiple functions, right? So this pen really kind of checks a lot of those boxes for me. Yes, it's a flashlight. It magnets into my car real easy. I'll show you that in a little bit. But it also has an uh, option for two different, whether it be right now I'm set up with a pen and sort of this pencil forever tip. Uh, but we got glass breaker. We got a lot of options that we can do with this. And I love that when it serves that many functions, as well as the light. The light is just not... Uh, LED white light. It's also an emergency light, which, you know, red and blue, I'll show you when we get into the light. So let's start with construction. It's all aluminum, so it's a little heavier than a regular pen, but it feels good. Like as you're holding it and you're writing with it, um, it's very comfortable as a pen, right? So um, it can write very nicely. I will say that the pen has worked out great. That's usually what I go to to write with to begin with. Uh, now, it's not like a regular pen where you have a large reservoir. This one is really small, and that's why they give you a bunch of replacements. As you can see, I was more up to like about there, about double that. So I've been using it quite a bit, uh, and it is running out. But you can buy those replacements, and they give you three or four replacements in this box, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Now, the cool thing is you can also go to this forever sort of pencil lead. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. It works if you need it to, right? So, um, right? So you can not make that out really easy, but you can certainly write with this. So it's not my favorite. Um, I am switching that over to the glass breaker uh, because I'm going to have this in my vehicle where I can write or have anything, but I can have the glass breaker ready. So if there's ever a thing where I needed to like get out of my vehicle and like break the glass, I'm good to go. But we'll get into that in just a minute. So as a pen, works great. Absolutely love the pen option. And it, I don't think I'm going to be running out of the ink as much as I have because I'm just not going to be using it every day like I have been. It's going to be more in my Jeep as my pen for my Jeep as in a light and just it serves many functions. Continuing with the build, obviously it has a clip there, which I like when I put it in my pocket so I can clip it in there. And then it has a magnet on the back. Now this magnet is awesome. I put it under my visor in my Jeep and it has stayed there. We've been off-roading, bouncing around, jamming around, and it has not fallen. I thought this little bat magnet is really not going to do it, but it has served its purpose really, really really well. Now what's nice is I have a Jeep and there's metal everywhere on a Jeep but if you have a different vehicle you may not have metal options like that but I really like having the magnet on there. The second thing is how the light is constructed in there. It has these kind of breaking points so it breaks there but I like the 90 degree and it'll go all the way up and then around so it's kind of stops in places so it will hold in a place. Now I do like how it's able to write in the dark I have some footage writing in my Jeep, putting down some numbers and stuff just so you can kind of see how it is. And you can see how well it lights up the paper as you're writing and you can look around and see things. And that's pretty awesome to be able to just grab and, and do that. So again, going to an item that serves multiple purposes, that's pretty great. In a vehicle, it's not always light. So you have a pen and a light all together. You don't have to have the two different ones. And I really, really like that. Continuing with the build, it has uh, the LED lights here, which we'll show you in a minute. And then it has a, a micro USB here that connects uh, and charges it. So that's pretty cool how well it charges this and um, and it's, it's rechargeable. You don't have to put any batteries. You don't have to go find those extra size batteries. I, I really do like that. So that's basically the build. Um, I do want to talk about how this switches up because it's a little weird. Sometimes I would grab it here and try to switch it, but it's right here. So you pull it towards because you're always pushing, forcing down, right? So you pull it towards and then it'll flip and then you just... Uh, push it back up just like that. So it'll, it'll go uh, and you can switch it up no problem like that. So 
Um, pretty cool how uh, how they made that mechanism because when you're writing, it's going to be pushing on and it's not going to pop out in any way, shape, or form. I've never had it like come undone. Next, let's get into all the tips that it comes with here. So, like I said, you've got a lot of extra ink that comes along with it. You have a tablet tip, which I've used, and I was using it quite a bit that way when I was carrying it in my pocket. If I'm not gonna go with vehicle, where it's in my vehicle all the time, oops, I'm going to definitely use uh, this one because uh, I loved it. Number one, it's nice, and it doesn't, like you put it in your pocket, it's not gonna stab you or anything, but it works really well to just hit um, something on, a, on your phone and work through things. So I do like that option a lot, um, but I'm probably gonna go standard with the glass breaker here uh, because I think that's kind of cool to have in the vehicle and where I have it up in my Jeep It's just super easy to grab and then be able to like break a window and and get out So um, I like that function as well as that's not really sharp. It's pretty balled up and round right there So um, that's a good one to keep out all the time sort of like a cap in a way and then when I want to use the um, the pen I can just flip it around and do that so um, this is going to be my standard way that I keep it from now on uh, and obviously I have all the extra ink that I can switch out as well too and I want to show you so you can kind of see let's see with three weeks of using it for a lot at work and everything um, this is how much ink I have used so far so um, yeah not quite half but uh, it does use it up because these are not huge reservoirs uh, but the way that I plan to use it as a kind of a backup pen, so I'm going to put a full one in. Why not, right? Um, I'm sort of using it as a backup pen, something that's used in my vehicle, and I won't be using it every single day at work, uh, kind of like I was. Now let's move down to the light, which I think is one of my favorite functions on this. This is your light switch, so when you click it, it uh, glows, actually. I don't know. Let me kill my lights here and see if I can get... So my focus is gonna hate me right now, but you can see how the blue light blinks there, and then uh, you can change different intensities by holding it down. It'll go through multiple different intensities. I find that like, there's one, two. I really like it at two. I think two is really great, holds up really well uh, at that point, and you can see quite a bit in your vehicle or around or whatever you're looking for. Sorry, it's playing havoc with my focus. So now let's open it up, right? So like the whole point is it's got a hinge, so let's use it. So I do like that I can obviously use that light to write, but I can set it down and work on things and do things and see something and it's just an easy light to have handy, which is really, really cool. So as a white light, it's really great, but it does have emergency light too. So I'm gonna switch to that, uh, I guess, trigger warning. This is uh, for seizure. This thing does go crazy blue red, um, but I love how this can be used in emergency situation on an icy road where you can turn it on and hold it so people can see you. So first I just have to turn this off and then I um, do some, I do quick taps and then it goes to the red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. I really like this from the standpoint of being prepared in survival, uh, really great option. This is really, really bright. So you can kind of see them flickering, how they kind of work through there. I mean, this is just so cool. You can even hold the pen just like that. So you could have it in your hand uh, outside an emergency situation in the dark and people would be able to see you. Obviously, I have tons of studio lights on and it's not you know, showing up real bright, but you could see how bright it was. So just love that this thing has so many different functions. So my thoughts on the Wubin Gecko E61 is it is awesome. I absolutely love it. It like, as I said, checks all those boxes, it has a magnet so it holds up. It also can clip into my pocket. I have two different options, a, you know, a survival type situation and a pen. I have a light that can go at different variants and I also have a uh, survival light what if I'm the, in that type of situation too. It's just a really great pen to have as part of your arsenal when it comes to everyday carry. Let me know what you think. Put down in the comments, do you own one? Would you think about getting one? Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy, and take a pen that can do a ton of things for you.